With most of our planet's valuable resources being hidden underground, humans have for thousands of years dug into the Earth to retrieve as much as possible. New technologies have led to the development of larger and more powerful ways to mine for resources, from diggers to transporters and some highly specialized vehicles. Join me for a look at the top 15 biggest mining machines in the world. Number 15. Bagger 293 Designed and built by the German company Tachraf in 1995, Bagger 293 is an absolutely enormous machine that holds the record for not only being the biggest mining machine in use, but as the largest terrestrial vehicle ever constructed. It's a bucket wheel excavator, which is a machine that's used in surface mining to continuously remove overburden with a wheel of buckets that scoops material as it spins. Bagger 293 is able to shift around 240,000 tons of soil per day, and to do this measures 314 feet or 96 meters tall, 738 or 225 meters long, and weighs almost 16,000 tons. Amazingly, the bucket wheel of the Bagger 293 is almost 70 feet or 21 meters in diameter and has 18 buckets in total that can each hold as much as 520 cubic feet or 15 cubic meters of material. It requires five people to operate. It runs on an external power source that provides 16 megawatts of energy, and the entire machine is mounted on 12 Caterpillar tracks. Of course, it doesn't move particularly fast with a top speed of 33 feet or 10 meters per minute, but this is more than enough to ensure the buckets are constantly digging through the earth. Since it was built, it's been in almost continual operation at a brown coal mine near Hambach in Germany, and despite the rate at which it's removing topsoil, it's expected to remain in use for at least another decade. Number 14. Belaz 75600 With the sheer amount of material that's excavated from mines, there's a huge volume that either has to be dumped out of the way or taken to be sifted for the valuable parts. One of the preferred ways of doing this, particularly at surface mines, is an ultra-class haul truck, and one of the largest available is the Belaz 75600. Built in Belarus by the Belarusian Auto Works, they are by far the biggest that are used across the former USSR at sites such as the Batchki Coal Open Cast Mine. Measuring 48 feet or 14 meters long, 30 feet or 9 and a quarter meters wide, and 23 feet or 7.2 meters tall, and it weighs 260 tons, this isn't a vehicle capable of using normal roads and instead requires purpose-built routes across the site of the mine to operate. It's powered by a Cummins engine that produces 3,500 horsepower and gives them a top speed of around 40 miles or 64 kilometers per hour when empty. But that also allows them to carry loads of up to 350 tons at a reasonable speed across short distances. A fleet of these is vital to continuing mining operations, and their ability to keep going through almost any weather condition means they're extremely reliable for this role. Number 13. Komatsu D575A3 Super Dozer Designed and constructed by Komatsu Limited, which is based in Osaka, Japan, the D575A3 Super Dozer is often referred to as the largest production bulldozer in the world. It's the third iteration of the series that first debuted in 1989, and it's a common sight to see at surface mines across the US, Australia, and Japan. This monstrous machine measures 38 feet or 11.7 meters long, 24 feet or 7.3 meters wide, and 16 feet or 4.8 meters tall, and it weighs at least 144 tons, and more in certain configurations. It's powered by a custom-designed 12-cylinder four-stroke water-cooled turbocharged Komatsu engine that can produce up to 1,150 horsepower. And because it's so huge and heavy, it has to be broken up into component pieces when being taken to a new site and is packed onto as many as eight trucks to transport it on public roads. This effort and the many millions of dollars that they cost are worth it for large mining operations though, because this super dozer is able to move up to 90 cubic yards or 69 cubic meters of material in a single pass, something that can be increased to 125 cubic yards or 96 cubic meters with an optional blade. It can also dig to a depth of six feet or just over two meters with a single shank ripper attachment something that makes it highly adaptable and ideal for clearing large amounts of surface material. Number 12. Locotrack LT200 Once material's been dug from the ground, it then needs to be crushed into smaller parts to make it possible to see which needs to be kept and refined further, and which needs to be discarded. 
There are many different ways to do this, but one of the most adaptable and convenient is by having a mobile cone crusher. The Locotrack LT200 is the largest of these available. It measures 51 feet or 16 meters long, 9 feet or 3 meters wide, and 11 feet or 3.4 meters tall, and it weighs in at just over 35 tons. And it's able to move from place to place on a site, and it's a secondary crusher that's used to break large chunks down into manageable sizes. And as well as being useful in mining, it's also often used to produce ballast for constructions of railways or asphalt for roads. Powered by a 415 horsepower CAD engine, it has a Nordberg HP200 crushing unit with a 7.2 inch or 18 centimeter opening, and the conveyor belt means it can be in almost continuous operation. Number 11. Terex Busiris RH400 Produced by Caterpillar, the Terex Busiris RH400 was for a long time the largest hydraulic excavator on Earth. It was originally offered on sale in Germany in 1997 by Terex, before the mining division of the company was taken over by Busiris in 2010, a company that itself was bought the following year. With a weight of around 979 tons, it's an absolute monster that measures more than 43 feet or 13 meters long, 29 feet or just over 9 meters wide, and 32 feet or just under 10 meters tall. It's powered by two diesel engines, which can produce up to 4,400 horsepower, and they're so large that they require six car batteries just to turn on. Despite only being able to move less than two miles or three kilometers per hour, the RH400 has been proven to be incredibly effective. In a record-breaking attempt that took place in Canada, one of these machines was used to move more than 9,900 tons of material in an hour, something that more than justifies its $11 million price tag. Number 10. P&H 4100 XPC Electric Rope Shovel Electric rope shovels, which are also often called power shovels, are machines that are used at mines to excavate material and remove overburden with a bucket that's controlled by winches and steel ropes. It's a technology that was commonly used before modern hydraulic design became more prevalent, but some companies still build them, and the largest still in production is the P&H 4100 XPC. It's made by Komatsu for surface mines around the world, and it measures 49 feet or over 15 meters long, 47 feet or 14.4 meters wide, and 48 feet or 14.7 meters tall. Marketed as a low-cost option for mines that are working with a tight profit margin, it's designed to stay in one place while depositing the material it picks up into crusher conveyor systems or ultra-class haul trucks. To do this, it's able to cut at a height of up to 55 feet, or almost 17 meters, with a radius of up to 79 feet, or 24 meters, and can dump material with its door open at a height of up to 31 feet, or 9.5 meters. With a bucket capacity of up to 88 cubic yards, or 67 cubic meters, it may not be quite as effective as the larger hydraulic versions, but it's far more cost-effective at a list price of several million dollars. Number 9. Caterpillar 6090FS. Of all the hydraulic mining shovels available, the one that currently holds the record for the greatest capacity is the Caterpillar 6090FS. Said by the company to represent the peak of their engineering capabilities, this twin-engine machine comes packed with features, such as an independent oil cooling system, a closed-loop swing circuit, and a twin-engine design to ensure it can keep operating even if there's an engine failure. The 6090 FS has an operating weight of 1,102 tons and a bucket capacity of more than 100 tons, which means it's able to completely fill Caterpillar's largest design of dump truck in just four passes. Of course, to lift such huge weights, the two Cummins engines are powerful and produce up to 4,500 horsepower. And it's an absolutely enormous machine that measures 44 feet or 13 and a half meters long, 32 feet or 9.7 meters wide, and 33 feet or just under 10 meters high. You won't then ever see one of these on the public roads, but that's probably for the best considering it only has a top speed of a few miles per hour. Number 8. Danvik DD422i Most of the largest mining vehicles are, understandably, used for open surface mining. But that doesn't mean there aren't any monstrous vehicles that are designed to venture beneath the surface. Of these, the biggest of all is the Danvik DD422i, which is a development drill rig. It's essentially responsible for digging small tunnels to test areas that are thought to be rich in valuable resources, and the mine operators use them to determine where the next full-scale operations will take place. The 29-ton machine is 43 feet or just over 13 meters long, 
7 feet or 2.5 meters wide, and just over 10 feet or 3.1 meters tall. It's powered by a Cummins QSB 4.5 engine and carries a set of hydraulic rock drills that can be fully automated to make the process as efficient as possible. Because of the cramped conditions it's designed to work in, the DD422i has an incredibly tight turning circle for a vehicle of its length, needing just 12 and a half feet or 3.8 meters. And as it's so often used for work that's far away from other vehicles, it's also fitted with any spare parts and safety precautions that it needs to keep operating, such as extra cutter heads and fire extinguishers. Number 7. Hitachi EX8006 Built by Hitachi, the EX8006 is the largest excavator that the company currently offers. The machine has been designed from the ground up to be easily maintained and fixable if anything goes wrong, with the aim that it's able to operate virtually 24 hours per day, something that's a valuable feature in mining when work continues around the clock. Weighing in at 894 tons and measuring around 44 feet or 13.3 meters long, 35 feet or 10.6 meters wide, and 31 and a half feet or 9.6 meters tall. It can be fitted with either a loading shovel or a backhoe to give it a capacity of up to 1,500 cubic feet or 43 cubic meters in each pass. It's powered by two Cummins engines that in combination can produce up to 4,000 horsepower, with the vast majority of this channeled into the digging arm to offer phenomenal strength when cutting through the ground. As with other super-sized excavators, the EX8006 isn't the fastest of designs because of its sheer weight, and even when it's not carrying a load, its top speed is just 1.2 miles or 2 kilometers per hour. Still, this machine's ability to continuously work means that once it's in position, it can clear overburden across huge areas, and it's become an extremely valuable tool at mines around the world. Number 6. Caterpillar 797F with so much earth that needs to be transported, mines rely heavily on ultra-heavy trucks, and the Caterpillar 797F is the largest one that the company produces. Measuring 49 and a half feet or 15 meters long, 32 feet or 9.7 meters wide, and up to 51 feet or 15.7 meters tall, it's able to carry up to 330 cubic yards or 252 cubic meters of material at a time. It's powered by a 20-cylinder turbocharged CAT C-175 engine that can produce up to 4,000 horsepower and is offered with a high-altitude version that works just as well with lower oxygen levels. And the entire vehicle, without carrying a load, weighs 924 tons. According to the company, massive strides have been made in its efficiency, so it offers the lowest cost per ton in its weight class and uses up to 10% less fuel than any comparable vehicles from other manufacturers. Amazingly, even when it's fully loaded, which can add an extra 400 tons to its weight, the 797F is still very capable of moving quickly, with a top speed of 39.5 miles or 63.5 kilometers per hour, something it's even able to maintain on dirt tracks. Number 5. Letourneau L2350 Originally designed and manufactured by Letourneau, a company that was acquired by Komatsu in 2017, the L2350 was, for a long time, the biggest earth mover on the planet and was officially recognized by Guinness World Records for its sheer power and size. It's a loader that's specifically intended for use at surface mines, where it loads the ultra-class haul trucks that can carry up to 400 tons of material. The L2350 itself weighs 260 tons and is powered by a 16-cylinder, 60-liter Cummins turbocharged after-cooler diesel engine that produces up to 2,300 horsepower. The standard bucket of the L2350 can hold up to 53 cubic yards, or 40.5 cubic meters worth of material, and when combined with the powerful engine, means that it's able to lift loads of up to 80 tons to a height of 24 feet, or 7.3 meters and to reach a distance of up to 11 and a half feet or three and a half meters. This means it's able to fill a large haul truck in just five scoops, which is not only highly efficient, but also a surprise considering that the L2350 costs somewhere between one and a half and two million dollars, which means it's cheaper than the haul trucks themselves. Number four, Osiris 2570W Walking Dragline. The Busiris Erie 2570W walking dragline, which is known as Big Kate, is one of the largest machines in use in the United States, responsible for removing the overburden at open cast mines. 
weighing at around 6,500 tons. It's heavier than a 150 Boeing 737 aircraft and is more than 220 feet or 67 meters high with a 335 foot or 102 meter boom and with a maximum operating radius of 300 feet or 91 meters, which is the same length as a football field. At the end of a boom is a bucket with a 115 cubic yard or 88 cubic meter capacity, which is able to carry a payload that weighs up to 167 tons. The entire structure is set on top of a tub that's 80 feet or 25 meters in diameter and walks on two shoes that each measure 72 feet or 22 meters long and 14 feet or 4 meters wide. It was originally built in 1972 and had been in continuous operation until 2011 when the decision was made to relocate it to the Bear Run Mine near Duggar in Indiana. Amazingly, simply moving it 18 miles or 29 kilometers required a crew of 20 people and took a whole month with it moving just one-tenth of a mile per hour. Number 3. Caterpillar R3000H the Caterpillar R3000H is a loader designed for a very specific purpose, to help remove material from tunnels that are being dug deep underground. Of course, working in such confined spaces means that the vehicle used in this way can't be as large as those that operate on the surface. The R3000H is about as big as it can possibly be, while still being effective and maneuverable. Powered by a CAT C15 Acert engine, which can produce up to 400 horsepower, the machine itself weighs up to 89 tons depending on its configuration and can carry a payload weighing up to 22 tons. The bucket has a capacity of as much as 15 cubic yards or 11.6 cubic meters. And even when fully laden, the R3000H has a top speed of 19.6 miles or 31.5 kilometers per hour. As it's designed for use underground, the R3000H also comes with a series of safety features, such as powerful communications equipment to keep in touch with the surface, replacement parts, fire extinguishers, and a custom design position monitoring system that's similar to GPS but still works at depth. It can be adjusted to carry us various different buckets, too, and even the tracks can be replaced for wider or thinner alternatives, making it adaptable to the precise needs of the mining operation. Number 2. Liebherr 9800 Designed and built by Liebherr, mines around the world use the 9800 G6 because of its reliability and sheer size that allows this mining excavator to move huge amounts of overburden each day. Measuring 78 feet or 24 meters long, 28 feet or 8.7 meters wide, and 34 feet or 10.3 meters high, it's powered by two Cummins QSK60 engines that produce a combined 4,000 horsepower. It can be fitted with either a face shovel or a backhoe, and this adaptability is why the 9800 is so popular at mines. With the face shovel, the machine weighs 893 tons, offering a shovel capacity of 54 cubic yards or 42 cubic meters, and a maximum crowd force of 662,000 pound-feet. Alternatively, the backhoe attachment gives an overall weight of 882 tons, offers a larger capacity of 62.1 cubic yards or 47.5 cubic meters, but a lesser breakout force of 445,000 pound-feet. The power provided by the engine allows the 9800 to easily traverse tricky gradients, and a huge amount of effort has been put into the design of the cab to keep the operator comfortable as they're working, so they can keep it moving for longer than the leading competitors. Another smart thing about its design is that all of the important components are easily accessible through ground-level access hatches, so that on the rare occasions that a durable part does encounter a problem, it's easy to reach and replace quickly. Number 1. Belaz 75710 Built in Belarus by Belaz, the Belaz 75710 is an ultra-class haul truck that for a time held the record as the largest of its type in the world. It's seen in the country as such an engineering marvel that it was depicted on their stamps in 2015, and the vehicles have been constantly produced since 2013, after becoming the number one choice for a number of open-cast mines worldwide. Measuring 67 feet or 20 meters long, 32 feet or 9.8 meters wide, and just over 27 feet or 8.2 meters high, its wheelbase alone is over 26 feet or 8 meters in diameter. It features a two-axle setup but has double-sized wheels, meaning it uses two huge tires on each wheel. Unusually, it has four-wheel drive and four-wheel hydraulic steering, and this gives it a turning radius of around 102 feet or 31 meters. The 75710 is powered by two MTU 16-cylinder diesel engines, which each produce 2,300 horsepower. 
They're coupled with two AC alternators and four AC traction motors, which gives an empty maximum speed of 40 miles or 64 kilometers per hour, and an impressive economy maximum speed for when it's fully loaded and on 10% gradient of 25 miles or 40 kilometers per hour. As for how much it can carry, the 397-ton vehicle is said by the company to be able to cope with a 500-ton load, although this comes with limitations. It has, for example, a relatively shallow bed, which means the actual volume of material that can be put on it isn't any more than similar machines. Where it truly does go further than the rest, though, is its ability to handle large and heavy chunks, such as huge boulders or single pieces of overburden that need to be transported away. And when it's doing that, there's simply nothing else on the planet that can get the job done anywhere near as well. The 75710 has proved to be so successful for Bell as that the company has invested almost a billion dollars into production capacity to keep up with demand. Although with sanctions currently being imposed against the Belarusian economy because of its alliance with Russia, Bell as has been forced to scale back on the number it's making. Watch our machines playlist for more top 15 videos about awesome machines. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best machine videos.